Hello everybody, Bradley here. It is patch day in Civilization VI. The big April update has arrived and we are bringing you a game with one of the newly patched civs, the Khmer Empire. So there's been a lot of changes going on with this patch. There's no way I can get through all of them with you. We're gonna try and get through as many as we can this game as they come up, but I encourage you to go read the patch notes. They're over 3,000 words long and there's a lot of changes to the game and Khmer is one of the most heavily changed uh, leaders. They really gave Kamir kind of a really good glow up and I'm really excited because he should be like A to S tier if you play him right here. Holy sites are granted major adjacency bonuses with rivers, a culture bomb, food equal to its adjacency bonus, and plus two housing if on a river. So, so much there, food, housing, adjacency for holy sites on rivers, just incredible stuff. Then you move into Grand Barai, Barais, Barais, cities with an aqueduct receive plus one amenity from entertainment and plus one faith for every population in the city. Farms provide plus two food if adjacent to an aqueduct and plus one faith if adjacent to a holy site. So there's just a lot going on here. Some really, really great changes to play a really tall, really religious kind of game. The Prasat is also a very, very unique temple, which is awesome. There's a lot going on here that we'll kind of explain as we go along, but really good building for our unique holy sites that's going to give us even more stuff based on the population we have in our cities, which should be really high because of all this food and housing. This game is being played on a stand or a small, sorry, a small wetlands map with everything else standard, random civs, random city states, random wonders, all that stuff. We have secret societies, monopolies and corporations, heroes and legends mode and barbarian clans mode. So some of the normal modes that we normally have on, we don't have zombies mode on because somebody told me the barbs on the new update uh, got a little bit stronger. So I just want to kind of feel out the new barb situation before we hop in with zombies mode. And finally, before we get started, you guys should hit the subscribe button on this channel. We just passed 5,000 subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That way you won't miss the rest of this game or our other Civ games. Over on Twitch, we are playing as Canada and then Spain, two of the other leaders that got really buffed up in this patch. So if you want to see those gameplays, those are over on Twitch. That link is in the description. We also have a Discord server you should join. Come hang out with over 300 other Civ fans. We have a good time in that server. That link is in the description below as well. Otherwise, just kick back, relax, and let's play some Khmer. So our plan this game is going to be pretty simple. Build a lot of good holy sites with his new bonuses, get a really tall empire, and build a lot of religious units and go for the religious win. We haven't really done a religious win on the channel in a while. It's one of my favorite victory conditions. I don't normally get the time to do it. Um, here's just kind of an ordinary start. Again, we're not playing with better balanced start mods or anything like that. Like This is just normal Civ 6 kind of normal wetlands map script. So let's hop in here and settle a 2-2 city with a 2-2 tile to work. That should be perfect. One of the things we want to do right away is we want to pin out this holy site. I'm using a mod called Detailed Map Tax. I did a whole video about it just a couple videos ago in the queue on YouTube. It's pretty much a mod that just lets you know what your tax are doing for you. It's really good for me, just a, a kind of reminder as I plan out my cities, how, how good they are and how good of a job I'm doing. Also really, really helpful for me, for me to teach you guys how to play Civ if you're a bit newer to the game, because I can explain just kind of visually here without going into it every time why I'm putting each district where it is. So we're gonna play with this uh, enhanced map tax mod. We can't build this holy site without first being able to clear stone. And that's actually going to be a little bit of an inhibition for us because we want to get this down as soon as possible. If we don't get a religion, it's kind of already game over. So we want to make sure we're doing that right away. We need to scout. We need to find goody huts. We need to first meet city states and all of that fun stuff. Hopefully we can first meet a religious city state. That would be the most ideal. We do kind of have to here go for uh, mining into masonry first just to be able to, to, to get rid of this quarry here or this stone. So we've met Anne Shan and discovered, owl, <laughs> discovered, discovered Owls of Minerva. Not the first me we were hoping for, but one science is actually going to be quite helpful for helping us get to quarries and then to holy sites. So in a roundabout way, this is perfectly fine. Its bonus isn't great. We're probably not going to tech into it too much with our envoys, but it is a good little bonus for us to have for now. I'm going to go double scout here to see as much of the world as possible. We're in a pretty good defensive position. I also do want to go Pingala first because we do want that extra science right away to get us to holy sites and um, and whatever this is called, masonry as soon as possible. Oh, geez, we've met Peter. So Peter's a little bit nerfed from the last time we would have played Peter. I don't know exactly what his nerfs are. 
I don't think he's going to be any less uh, committed to going for a religion, though, which is pretty bad because we need to have a great prophet pretty much right away. And he's really, really close to us, which isn't ideal. It's a good thing we're going to be able to play tall. We're in a pretty defensive position here, so I'm not too worried about him. But he's not the best person to have around. I'm going to send him a delegation and hope we can make him happy. We've had this barb encampment clear pretty much gifted to us by Anne Shan, so that's perfect. We shall take that indeed. Awesome, awesome. We are going to try and find a natural wonder here. Ooh, and we've discovered Hercules. That could actually be a big deal because Hercules could build that holy site for us right away. Um, so we have discovered Hercules. Is that a second continent? And that is a second continent, which is what triggered the discovery. So that's all interesting stuff. Still no natural wonder to actually get us to astrology, though. Pantanal. There it is, the Pantanal. Awesome. I did not mean to skip that cutscene, but the Pantanal here is going to give us that boost to astrology that we were looking for. Still a goodie hut over here, which is perfect. So as soon as we've met masonry or finished masonry, we'll head up to astrology. We are also playing with a mod called Extended Policy Cards. This just gives us a little bit of extra information on our policy cards here. It lets you know what they're giving you. So you can just be a little more informed when you're making your policy card choices. Again, nothing that actually affects the balance of the game. Just little UI improvements to make it a little bit easier for us. We have met Void Singers. That is exactly where we're going to want to go with this, I think. I think we're going to go a culture slash religious game. Although I do think Owls of Minerva also serves a purpose. I think Void Singers is something we haven't used in a while, so it might be fun. We also got a builder from that discovery, which is pretty massive. We have animal husbandry, so we can, can come down and build um, this cattle here. I do need to save one shop to get rid of this here. I don't really want to build a quarry here because of the... Hmm. The thing is, if we build the quarry, we can get to the holy site quicker, and that might be worth doing. You know what? Let's build the quarry. It's something I don't normally do. The volcano might get rid of it later. That's totally fine. I think for now, though, this makes a lot of sense. So building this quarry, I normally chop stone. I normally advocate to chop stone. I think you all should chop stone. I think we might be able to get Hercules, though, and Hercules can build the holy site instead of chopping it. We're going to chop this stone out anyway. So let's build this one quarry here. That's going to give us the boost to masonry so we can get this done a little bit quicker. All right, so we've met Granada, but not a first meet, which leads me to believe someone else is hanging up over here, hanging up, hanging out over here, which is awesome. That's totally fine. I think we're going to try and settle on maybe this geothermal fissure if we can make it work, work a 4-2 spices tile, get our aqueduct, get our good holy site in next to the mountain. There's good aqueduct tiles on either end, so we'll figure it out. But I think this is going to be our next kind of settle up here. So Granada is blocking our path here, which means our only option is to settle on this tile here. And this tile really sucks because you can't work either of the geothermal fissures. So that kind of ruins our plan. Granada is just a little bit too close, which really, really is unfortunate. What I liked about this is it's very easily defensible. So it was going to be an easy place for us to just kind of come and hang out without getting killed. I think we might have to slide in in between Mexico City and Granada. We can also slide in up here. The problem with over here is all of this is floodplains. I want to be next to the river. I don't have dams yet for a while, so I don't really want to be next to the floodplains. And I don't think we're getting great baths, so that might be a bit tricky. Although this would be an amazing great bath city. Oddly enough, I've received a second builder. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but that's perfect. I think our second city, I don't really want to settle too close to Russia. That's probably a bad idea. I would rather settle up in this direction. The problem is our warriors all the way over here. So we might need to build another warrior to make this work. I'm going to chop out a monument so we can get Hercules, I think. I can chop next turn, so that'll work out just, just fine, I think. Move a builder down here. Once we get Hercules, um, we should be able to bring this settler escorted up and around to this area. All right, so masonry is complete. Let's chop this bad boy out. That's going to be most of a monument. We need to head right for astrology now. Once that's done, that should time perfectly with our holy site anyway. Yeah, this is too risky to bring the settler up unaccompanied, I think. I might be able to bring him down, though. I can bring this scout across. I can bring this warrior up. And there might be room along the river over here for us to settle in between our anchor Tom and Anne Shan. As we're operating here, we want to keep an eye on a spot to put the Mahabodhi Temple because it needs to be built on woods next to a holy site. So obviously our holy site here is not eligible because this is rainforest. So I'll have to look over here. Maybe this spot makes a lot of sense. I can see some woods next to it. We do really want the Mahabodhi Temple though to get the extra Diplo points is nice. We want the extra apostles and all of that fun stuff. So it's an important wonder for us to try and snag from Russia here. All right, two turns for Hercules is awesome. You can build the holy site really quick and get rid of the barb, so that's totally fine. I would like this more if we could build the Atemanonki, but if we could build the Atemanonki, you'd almost rather build it down here. The problem is it goes really quickly, so maybe we won't be able to. It's going to be a tough, a tough little navigation here about what we want to do. 
I think I'm going to settle on this tile here. It gives us the marsh tiles. We can either clear them or we can grab the Antemanaki. So that's not too bad either way. If I settle here, I'm on this side of the river and Rush is going to have a harder time kind of murdering us, which is what we want. So we're going to settle right here. So let's pin out a little city here and see what we come up with. So this is not overly helpful for our normal kind of setup here, but I have come up with a little interesting industrial zone setup. I think that might be interesting for us to play with. I wouldn't be surprised if this all gets maneuvered over as we need, you know, theater squares and those kinds of things. But I think this is a fun little interesting idea to do. A faith kind of industrial zone win would be very different. Hercules is born. We have one turn before our holy site needs to go down. I can just beat this scout down with Hercules pretty easily which is awesome. Holy Sight goes down next turn. That'll be finished really quick. Um, I think we should probably start on another unit for a little bit of defense. I do really want to trade or something we might be able to buy instead. So let's go for another... Are we? Do we need a Slinger? I don't think we need a Slinger. I think maybe just another Warrior will be fine. I want to head straight down to Mysticism. We are going to get the Pantheon soon. We really, really, really need to um get the two great profit points per turn so we'll go mysticism and then over to a government right away so the great bath is gone we're not going to get it over here that kind of sucks a little bit it was one of the things that might have made this city really freaking good over here so we're just going to deal with those floodplains at some point uh, let's promote our main man the warrior let's settle our second city here hopefully russia doesn't get too bad or too mad lingapura is down that is awesome stuff we can start work we can get both holy sites down right away actually which is perfect um, so let's go and grab this holy site here. It's plus five and the food and everything. Oh my goodness. Just incredible stuff. Going to build that. That's some error score. There's our holy site done and dusted. That's awesome. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go and build one right here right away too. And we can get rid of the wheat with this um, builder. I certainly want to head into irrigation because we have things to irrigate a la the tobacco here. So maybe we'll go in that direction. I don't have a way to get archers, so I don't think I'm too focused on that. So we're going to use a little bit of a cheat code here, and you can actually transfer your heroes to other cities just between city centers. So we're going to do that. Then he's right there and ready to go, and we're ready to put that next holy site down, which will just be in a couple turns here. I really love this mechanic, man. If we go into the city here, where are our districts? Plus five, plus five. Absolutely incredible. Two turns till we can clear the wheat. That's totally fine. We'll get the holy site down then once that's done. I do want to clear it for food though, so that's awesome. Russia already at four great profit points per turn. So we do have to be a quick, it seems like we're ahead of every other player though. We just have to be careful that he's going to be sending units out pretty much right away to mess with us. So we need to be on the defense with some missionaries of our own to stop that. As much as I really love Ladies of the Reeds and Marshes, and I really do for this kind of map, right? That would be 10 food, 10 production. If you're going to play this new Khmer, you have to go with River Goddess, plus two amenities and plus two housing to cities that they have a holy site district adjacent to a river. This is built for Khmer, two amenities, two housing. We have to do it. There's no choice. I certainly would like to get that shrine going. We got to be really, really quick. We have to be able to keep up with Russia, right? Because Russia's going to come and try and flip all our cities to his religion right away. And we can't let that happen. So we got to be on the ball fast and furious getting our uh, missionaries out. We are the first meet to Buenos Aires, which is interesting. So there's someone up here that met Granada first, but not someone over here to meet Buenos Aires first. Fascinating. All right, holy sight going down. Let's maneuver you over here, Mr. Hercules. Let's put you down. There we are. Holy sight done and dusted. Getting that culture bomb feels really good. How many points does that put us at? So Russia at 18. We're at still at one per turn. That'll be two shortly here. I have purchased a trader here to try and get... I'm going to trade with Voroneza because that's the least likely for the military to come murder me. I am going to try and get Russia to be a little happy with us if that's possible. I think just in case they get aggressive, it would be worth suzeraining... Suzerining? Being coming the suzerain of An Shan, just in case they get a little uppity over in Russia. All right, we just found a goodie hut up here, so we know that no one exists in the top left, so we're going to be able to expand down this river quite a bit. These floodplains are rather concerning until we get dams. I think we'll be fine, but it's still like, ah, just so many floodplains, you know? Like, ah, dang it. We do have somebody we need to meet over here. I'm also trying to, like, block his settler a little bit. Just make him think twice about settling some cities over here. 
I'm going to run a holy site prayers to get this religion as quickly as possible. He's already at seven great profit points per turn. So we need to really hurry up here. I actually might just chop it out. We really need to get a religion similar time to him or else he's just going to come with his religion. He's going to have so many more units than us and it's not going to be ideal. Oh, he put down Kazan, which is very annoying, but also potentially loyalty flippable. That seems like maybe a mistake considering how high our populations are going to get. Yeah, two turns now for the Holy Site Prayers. Let's just get it done as quickly as possible. So there he is. He's got his first missionary. Where are we at? We're still quite a ways away. We got 17 that turn. We're still a little bit away here, which is not ideal. I think we're getting three per turn now, if I'm not mistaken. I can't check. I think it's three per turn. So it's still not really the best, you know? I think it's time for another settler in any case. We have more cities we need to settle. We'll get our religion when we get it. It's not going to be as quickly as him. It seems like he's going to spread his religion elsewhere anyway. And then once we have Kazan, we can try and make that kind of a, a, a fortress if we can grab it. So Saladin's up here. That's another potentially religious sieve. Not always, but sometimes. Um, that's totally fine. It looks like we're going to have it. It's just if we get... Yeah, Arabia's already going for great profit points. If we, um, if we get sandwiched, it might be a little bit tough to defend our religion on two sides. But if we get um, Kazan here loyalty flipping to us, if we can keep these populations going up, we might be able to... We might be able to um, use Hercules to put a holy site there if he doesn't already. We have another governor title. The population in our capital city is going to be sky high. So getting connoisseur is really really helpful here that'll be six science or six culture i think what i want to do though is actually grab void singers because that's going to give us an extra eight faith per turn which is almost double our current faith per turn for having the old god obelisks and that again will help us keep up with russia in producing uh, units to keep our cities under our own religion so as much as pingala is so tempting right now and might be the better move in hindsight i think i'm going to go void singers right now for the double monument um old god obelisk play and there it is in our cities. We have four faith, one culture for every old god obelisk, which is exactly what I want. Now, Russia interestingly went hermetic order. So Russia's not going to have that extra faith available. So we might actually be okay in, in, in loyalty or in religiously flipping some of his cities here. And here it is. Lousy. Lauchi? Lauchi, our great prophet. Come here, bud. Let's found our religion right away. We know we want to do it. It's a big part of our game plan. Let's get that done immediately. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Pope speaking. We have a new religion called Pet the Doggo. Uh, you must pray by petting a dog every single day. It's easier if you own a dog. I just want to put it out there that in this game, you are allowed to pet the dog now. So if you are playing Civilization, you can pray to the Pet the Doggo gods by using your scout and petting the god dang doggo. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> now do you do feed the world here do you double down that would be absolutely mental if you double down here with feed the world i think work ethic is the way to go but feed the world is so funny you already get food what is it you get exact i want to know exactly what you get here you already get yeah food equal to it's it's pretty much feed the world you pretty much get the feed the world bonus already so let's not double down although i think doubling down is very 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 funny I do want to go... Oh, I got to redo the whole religion thing. I do want to go for work ethic, I think. Yeah, we're going to go with work ethic. I think doubling down on Feed the World is hilarious and maybe a fun thing to do. I think work ethic makes us a more well-rounded sieve since every city is going to have a holy site and we don't have a lot of good production options in our other cities. I think being able to build the mosque is super critical. I'm going to save the mosque for an evangelization with an apostle. For right now, I'm definitely going to lock in that I want everything to be a little bit cheaper to purchase. That should make it easier for us throughout the game. I'm pretty confident in my religious victory kind of ability. So once we get going, I think Holy Order makes it easier for me. So the first thing we want to do is if we can quickly spread our religion to all of his cities and get him converted right away, what that means is that he's going to have a really hard time finding cities to buy religious units from and coming back from that. So we want to get him kind of out of the game immediately here with religion if we can. So we're immediately going to buy some missionaries and just go ham sandwich in Russia to try and to try and, and slow him down a little bit. For our third city, I've just pinned something out here. It's not the best city in the world, but you get that holy site in 4-4. Four, four. You get the plus four campus because of the fish in the mountain. Aqueduct here, uh, you have your dam here and an industrial zone here. Makes it really easy to settle another city down here, put another aqueduct, another dam, and do some industrial zone shenanigans. I'm not actually that worried about culture because part of what makes the Prasats really good 
um, is it says plus 0 0.05 culture for every population in this city. So that'll be fine for us, I think. I'm thinking I should probably suck it up and build this campus here under the volcano. It really sucks that a volcano might erupt on it. Overall, though, I think it's probably worth building anyway. I don't have a really good preserve tile to put down. I don't have a lot else going on right now. I'm going to be able to build all the districts I want anyway. Getting the campus will help me get to aqueducts a little bit faster. I think we put the campus down. Although running religious projects is really tempting just to flip all his cities really quickly here. You know what? Let's run one holy site prayer before we put this campus down. I really just want to make sure we can have a head start in religiously kind of going after his cities here. He actually wants to be friends with me, which is awesome because I'm actively flipping his cities to, <laughs> to pet the doggo. So this is perfect. All right, Veronica, Come on, baby. You've got this. You know you want to. There it is. Yo. We got this, baby. That's two cities out of three, maybe four, that are following our religion. So he can no longer buy religious units in this city, right? Because they'll be our religious units. So we're kind of just blocking him in so he can only buy religious units in St. Petersburg for now. And that gives us a kind of base to work with. Now we're certainly going to go culture here. We need to go culture. So we're going to get that extra... What is that? Six culture per turn. What we need to do is get this government online and get right down to theology as quickly as possible for the Mabodi Temple. Class Claris here. Wouldn't be surprised if he is in a golden age and we are in a standard age. That would be fairly normal. He is indeed. That's fine. We're going to get our golden ages later. That's all good. I think monumentality makes a lot of sense. How many districts are we actually building here? Free inquiry makes a lot of sense too. Let's go free inquiry. Do a quick stop off for archery and then we're going to head straight to aqueducts considering how helpful they are for our empire. Anchor Watt is down. There we are. That's the name of a wonder. I'm so smart. All right. So let's grab. Where's Hercules? Hercules is here. Hercules, you're going to get this holy site down right away. Do we have a builder here who can clear this? We do not. We might have a builder shortly who can clear that. I'm going to trade Russia eight horses for 50 gold. That'll be enough to buy a builder here that can get rid of this cattle so I can put the holy site down. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bang. All right, let's do a big old chopperino here. That's perfect. Let's throw our holy site down. Oh my goodness. I mean, the holy site's giving us faith, food, and production this early on is pretty bonkers. Russia might want to kill us, but he can't kill us because we're friends. So we'll build walls after this shrine is done. I think everyone receiving uh, cities with a district receiving housing and amenity, very, very important. Great person points, also quite nice. So we'll head into here. Anything that might help us out here, let's take a look. We're not really building settlers right now. I'm going to build that campus first. So let's see what we want here. I do want this extra production. I might like this two gold. I'm not building any wonders at all, so that's fine. Um, I might like charismatic leader here, obviously the better of the two. And maybe some great scientist points would be good. I don't want to build walls until we have limes, although we have enough production to build them pretty quickly anyway. Maybe a gog just in case we need to build units on the on the quick. I'm going to bring this builder down to chop out the Mabodi Temple. We know we're going to need the Mabodi Temple, so we're going to do that really quick. We're going to hopefully have enough gold to buy a temple, which would be ideal. So what we're doing right now is we're forcing him to use his own missionaries in his own land. To, to really make sure that he has to keep his own religion. What we're trying to do is we're not trying to take him over this second, right? If we can just keep a steady hum of missionaries coming in here, that's perfect. And the reason why that's perfect is we're planning on getting our apostles from the Mabodi Temple. The Mabodi Temple is going to give us two free uh, apostles, right? I believe it does anyway. Yeah, it grants two apostles when built. So we're planning on getting apostles without having to build or buy them with faith right which is like 400 faith apiece so we're hoping that using all of our faith for missionaries is is kind of fine because we're able to to get apostles with a wonder instead i'm going to slide the production award settlers card in with work ethic in all of our cities i think i can actually build a settler in anchor Wat pretty quickly after the campus is done I don't really want to, but I am going to build ancient walls here just so we can boost engineering just that little bit quicker. We need those aqueducts right away. Uh, getting the aqueducts in our cities. Cities with an aqueduct receive plus one amenity from entertainment and plus one faith for every population, right? So those aqueducts are going to give us loads of good stuff that we like. Theology is done, which means it's Mabodi Temple time. That's exactly what we want to get right away. We'll wait till this holy site prayers 
is finished. We can now get the Prasats, which we are going to need to build the Mabodi Temple. So we want to get started on that absolutely immediately. I'm actually going to see if there's a way to get this gold out of Saladin so I can buy the Prasat. So let's just see what he'll give us here. I don't think this is going to work. It will work. So all of our Diplo favor are uh, tobacco and our horses for 330 gold. Um, that should be fine. So we should be able to buy at least one of the Prasats here, which is great. Quicker than 12 turns, at least, which is awesome. Ooh, scripture coming in here for the plus 12 faith. As much as I love this gold, we actually kind of need this gold if we're going to buy the Prasats. Dang it. Well, you know what? The plus 12 faith is so much more important right now. Uh, maybe instead of the production in all cities, because every city has work ethic. Let's do that. So I figured out I'm going to save up to buy the Prasat in Lingapura, because we can build one in four turns here, which is going to give us a lot of good stuff and quite a bit of culture. So we're going to build the Prasat there. Uh, I'm going to buy this one soon, as soon as I can get a little more gold off Russia here. And I think it's worth not building it here and building something else. Probably a builder, to be honest, because we do have to chop some of the stuff in the Empire to get these aqueducts down. So let's grab a builder there and let's see if Russia will give us the, the gold. He gave us 20, so we're getting closer. All right, traded the last of my horses in Diplo favor for 15 gold to hit the Prasat target. So now we do have the Prasat there. That is four error score. If we hit a... Um, uh, what's it called golden age here where we can buy settlers and builders with faith that would be unreal good a monumentality is what i'm thinking of so that's fine let's scrap the builder for now let's focus on my body temple first it's absolutely critical that we grab that so let's build you right away let's make sure that's all we are focused on let's get our cards focused on it if we even have the wonder card i'm not even building settlers yet Let's get Core V in to make sure we are working on that. And we don't have Pingala. We're not going to get Pingala. Our next up will be Moksha. So we just have these two chops here. So let's get Chippy Chopping. All right. So the Mabodi Temple is going to take a little longer than I had originally thought. No worries, though. We can buy Apostles on the cheap here. So we're going to buy some Apostles and get roaming around 300. So a couple more turns. Um, we're going to try and get some Debater Apostles. Maybe we'll evangelize the belief first, depending on how we're feeling. And we're going to go beat up some missionaries in Russia's territory if we can help it. Let's build an aqueduct in Angkor. Tom, critically important infrastructure here. We know how important aqueducts are going to be for us. So let's do that. Maybe even before we, we build the Mobodi, maybe we want to get an aqueduct here. So this apostle here can get proselytizer. Proselytizer means that when we, when we hit the spread button, it eliminates 75% of the other religions in the area. That'd be great to send down to St. Petersburg. So we are going to do that. Indeed, I'm going to try and buy one more Apostle. Beating up the missionaries is going to be our best way in to, to, to Kazan here and, and to Varenzna and to making sure we keep all these cities under our control. So we're going to have to be a little creative here. With our governor, I think Researcher has a lot of merit to it. That science would be nice. We're not really hurting for science. What we really, really need right now is Moksha. Moksha is going to be perfect for us because if we put Moksha in Lingapura, that extra religious spread is going to be really helpful in helping keep Kazan and Varesna on our side because it's going to be an extra 100% spread from this city. Oh my god, yes! Holy our last apostle or second apostle has debater so debater is the one where you can go around and just bully missionaries so i think we're we're pretty much on the flip here for russia because it's going to eliminate 75 percent of his religion as we spread it in these cities with this apostle this apostle is going to come from behind and just beat up any missionaries this is awesome let's go i think one of my big plays actually to build this mabodi temple might actually be to get an internal trade route here from lingapura to anchor tom and maybe a commercial hub will help with that we're still waiting a little bit for this um these industrial zones to go down so while we're waiting we could also build another settler i think there's some merit to that too i think we're pretty happy playing tall right now and just building a commercial hub and having a good time i'm now realizing i probably should have put the commercial hub here to give the holy site an extra plus one adjacency but you know what you live and you learn and i'm an idiot Hey, look, it's me being dumb again. Never fails. I'm always dumb. As much as I want to go down Pingala, I'm actually going to go down Amani. I, I've lost my suzerainships in some of these places, and I'm not too happy about that. So we're going to grab Amani here to make sure that doesn't happen again. I do want to head towards shipbuilding, I think, to allow units to embark. I just don't know where they would embark to. So maybe mathematics for now. Construction might be nice as well. Just going around the coast isn't too appealing. Uh, the wetland script is a continent script, so we do have other continents in this game we're going to have to explore eventually we also are going to need more settlers eventually too i think we'll go civil service for now then into theocracy obviously all right we got three spreads 
two people are following our religion in St. Petersburg now. If we flip, if we flip St. Petersburg to our religion, it's going to be hard for Russia to come back. He's going to run out of cities to buy religious units in, I think. Now that I see that I can actually go on shallow water to another little continent, I'm actually going to go up into shipbuilding. This little missionary is just going to follow along and kind of make sure Kazan is like staying loyal and make sure Verazna is staying loyal, you know, making sure there's no, there's nobody skipping out. And there it is. Yo, we flipped their holy city. Wowza. And there it is. That's easy enough, right? Now they, they're running out of places to buy units no holy site here no holy site here so the last place for him to buy religious units is, is in Yaroslavl and I can come in here with this debater apostle and just kill these missionaries he buys so we're looking we're looking pretty good here <laughs> I like how after I just flipped his holy city he's like yo dude no worries not a problem man we're still best buds want to go for a pint absolutely Peter all right, we got some missionaries to take out. When you take out missionaries with your apostles or any religious unit, gurus, apostles, with your own apostles, you will get religious favor in the area. So typically you kind of want to avoid um, using the last charge of your apostles, especially the ones with debater. Because if I take out a missionary here, I guess we'll see next turn what it looks like. I'm going to get faith, uh, faith gen in all of the cities nearby here and my religion will spread towards all of them. All right, let's see what this looks like if I come in here and I take out this missionary with this apostle. You can see it gives minus 250 Ethan Orthodoxy plus 250 Pet the Doggo. Didn't happen quite. Oh, it did happen over here. So we've now flipped these cities into our religion. So this city, Yaroslavl, is the last one left for now. And I think I'm willing to sacrifice this apostle next turn or this turn to make sure that's the last one. There we are. We have successfully covered all of Russia's cities in Pet the Doggo. Yo. And that is a great place to end episode one. We are on turn 84. We only have three cities, but mission accomplished. We are doing really, really well for a religious victory here. I'm very, very happy. In the next episode, we'll focus on uh, Saladin next to making sure our religion is spreading up in this direction. The next thing we have to do as well is evangelize our belief right away, which is something I'm going to work on. But Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, a comment, subscribe, all of that fun stuff. Um, otherwise, just yeah, thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.